This is some of the best food we've had in China so far. This smells absolutely incredible. Complete flavor bomb. Like you would not believe how good this is. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to Xi'an. Xi'an is considered as the street food capital of China. And today we're going to eat our way around the famous Muslim Quarter, showing you some of the signature dishes that this incredible city has to offer. For our first street food dish we are having the Yanggu Paumu lamb and pita soup. This is a traditional dish here. Normally when you order it, you get a bowl and you get like one or two flatbread pitas and you have to tear them up yourself. You're supposed to tear it up very finely and the more finely you tear it up, the better it is apparently because it can soak up more of the flavors and the, and the broth. So they put the torn up pita bread inside the bowl, then they put the broth on it and then some lamb meat with it. Supposed to be very good. We just ordered a dish here at one of the most famous places to eat. It's really, really busy. There are at least 100 people sitting here outside. We had to wait for half an hour for our soup, which is pretty long for a soup, but that just means it's really famous. So here in the soup, you can see the pieces of bread that have been torn up, together with the broth. There are some clear, small noodles in it, some meat. Here it goes. Flavor is really good. Pretty rich in flavor, well, not very, not too rich, but like a good aftertaste, smooth taste. Um, I must say the pita bread tastes a bit a chewy. Not a big fan of the texture of the pita bread, to be honest. And of course, there's lamb meat. Oh, oh, that is so good. I think this has been braised or cooked for a very long time. It's very soft. If you put it in your mouth, it starts falling apart. Flavor is really, really good. Oh. Before coming here, we researched the best places to try each dish that we really wanted to eat. Well, we, I mean, Naik. But it's turning out to be quite difficult, yeah, more the, difficult. The next place is a bit difficult to find. We're walking around in the street here. But the thing is, we have a picture of the of the place and the sign is like, oh yeah, this will be very recognizable. Black sign, golden letters, red around it. No problem. And you come here, every restaurant has the same sign. Yeah. So it's a bit difficult, but we're gonna look around and we're gonna find it. Yeah, hopefully. We found the noodle shop. A noodle shop probably doesn't do it any justice because if what we read is correct, these are supposed to be some of the best noodles you can find in all of Xi'an. This dish is called Biang Biang Nian. Apparently when they make the noodles, they flap them against the countertop and it makes this banging sound, which they call Biang Biang. And it has this chili paste in it with some fresh vegetables. There's some celery, some onion, some cilantro. You're supposed to like mix it up very well, um, toss all the ingredients together, and then have a try. This smells absolutely incredible. Oh, look how big these noodles are. My head is for scale. I think it's actually one big noodle, huh? Yeah, it, it is. I think it, I'm looking for the end of the noodle. But yeah, it's one very long noodle. I know. No. Yeah. Awesome. But they're very big. It's huge. <laughs> and it's spicy. The chili sauce, for me, he was like, you want spicy? And I was like, of course I want spicy. You mean it's a spicy noodle dish. I'm supposed to have it spicy, I want to have it spicy. And I was a little bit afraid because I was like, is this going to be too spicy? But for me, it's a perfect level of spiciness. And they put this broth and the beef inside of it, which you can really, really taste very well with the chili. It makes it so well, it gives such a rich aroma. This is the best food we've had all over China. No, this is some of the best food, I swear. You take my noodles, I'll, I'll hurt you. This is some of the best food we've had in China so far.
Our next dish is also a noodle-based dish. It's called Luzi Liang Fan Rice Jelly Noodles with Chili Oil and Mustard. <laughs> really long name. Uh, it's basically also a pita flatbread broken up uh, together with some jelly noodles, which is a whole different kind of noodle. Got ourselves a bowl, pita bread. Now we have to break it up. You come here, they're gonna make you work for your lunch. But I don't think you're doing it wrong. You're making like these really, really small pieces. And they just came to tell us that it needs to be bigger. So here. After we gave back the bowl with the broken bread, they put some jelly noodles on top of that, some garlic, some mustard sauce, chili, some sesame paste, and some vinegar. That was it, that was the last bit. And then some other oil that we should not exactly know what it is. We specifically asked not to stir it while eating it, so I'm just going to try it like this. Oh, look at this, these are the jelly noodles. Mm. It's not really warm, it's like, Everything is room temperature-ish. And it's a flavor that I've never ever had in my entire life. I mean, at home sometimes you have like sesame oil. But this is like a really, really rich, silky texture. Sesame paste with the chili. It's also pretty garlicky. Everything put together works really, really well. I've never tasted anything like this. It's a really unique flavor and it's really good. That was really good. Something very special. What do you think? Time for the next dish? I'm yeah. still, I'm starting to get like full, but I still like have small. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit see, of room there's left like here. This yeah. very small spot here. It's starting to rain a bit, so let's go. We just came across this stand that is selling Chinese or Qian hamburgers. It's very slowly braised meat. Traditionally it's pork, but since we're in the Muslim quarter, it will either be beef or probably lamb. I filled up with some nuts, some spicy sauce, so it's supposed to be very, very good. My only question is, what the hell is that flapping about? I think it's to keep the flies away or something. It looks like a piece of meat. Oh, oh this is good. Mm. Really good. It's salty, I think it's lamb meat, and the meat just melts in your mouth. That the things they put on make it such a flavor bomb. If you see how many spices she has over there, and her chili and her nuts, and yeah, I just referred to her nuts, <laughs> so wrong. This is seriously good. Wow, everything here is good. What the heck is going on here? So many little umbrellas. School's out. They're coming to collect their children. School's out. Oh, all the way. Nearly lost an eye there. After all that food, we're pretty stuffed, but no meal is complete without dessert. This is sticky rice with some um, chopped dates, mashed up dates in between, topped with some sesame seeds. There's this rose syrup that they used to cover it with. I'm very curious because this is one of the typical desserts for this part of China. Immediately after you taste this, the rose taste is like very apparent. I normally love desserts, but I'm not the biggest fan of this one, to be honest, because the rose flavor is a little bit overwhelming, but the dates is really good. Yeah, it's, it's very sticky. <laughs> Probably why it's called sticky rice. Oh yeah, I can stick you. Two. No, one more. Yes. But no, this. this. Yes. Thank you. Look, more rose tasting food. This is... Jingao, it's sticky rice with some nuts and some rose jam. I had to buy two because this is the first one and she also covered that in like the rose syrup before I could stop her. So I had to ask a second one so I can at least give it like a fair shot. So 
Someone was protesting yellow roses. That's not rose tasting at all, actually. Wait. Hey, oh. It's like biting down on a flower. I'm not a big fan. It's not bad, but it's not very good either, so. One and one. Two. As the saying goes, third time's a charm. We're not so, backing down. <laughs> so we're not backing down. So we're trying our luck now with these things that we bought on our way to the metro. We just, we're now at the edge of the metro station, like just inside, because it's raining pretty hard. It looks like toffee. It's, it's, it's also a sweet and dessertish, I guess. It's probably not toffee uh, at probably all. Probably not toffee, but it was like in the stand with all these sweet and dessert things. We bought two different kinds. I have no idea what they're filled with. One is, has some sesame's on top. The other one, Which one do you want to try? This one? <laughs> what you heard? It's not toffee at all. It's like cardboard. It has a texture of sand. What is the taste of cardboard? <laughs> okay, so dessert is not a winner. No. I think we tried our luck for today. The mains were absolutely good. Not a big fan Mind of desserts. Blowing. But Tomorrow morning, we're going to try out some breakfast options. Yeah. And so now we're going to turn in for the night. We're going to take the metro back to our guest house and we will see you tomorrow morning. Have a good night. If anybody wants these. <laughs> Change of plans. This morning we wanted to go for breakfast, but we were up a bit late because we slept in and watched the movie last night pretty late, so we didn't get up uh, in time. Instead, we were walking towards the metro station and we came across this cat cafe. We ordered a cappuccino here, but there's like 10 cats walking around, the cat team cafe, like everything is in the theme of cats, like the pillows, the blankets, decorations. Even my cup is cat themed and the spoon is in the shape of a cat. I've never been to a cat cafe before. It's really nice, you can just pet them and they walk around and they come right against your leg and they're so adorable. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this food video and cat. We just turned into a cat video. Um, if you did, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe for the next one, which is going to be visiting the Terracotta Warriors. Super famous, right here outside of Chiyon. Um, we are going to check them out tomorrow, so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.